Want to get to more breaking news? Life in prison. That's the sentence for Amor Fatui. He was convicted in the attack of a police officer at Flint's Bishop Airport in June 2017. He said to a court judge today he regrets that he did not kill the officer and others. I want to go right to Jim Kurtzner. He is live in Flint outside of the federal court where it all happened. Jim sounds like no remorse. This is stunning statements, the worst I've heard in years covering the courts. 51-year-old Amur Fatui telling the judge he regrets he didn't kill the cop, he regrets he didn't kill other people, he regrets he didn't have a machine gun on the day of this attack. Take a look. As you said, this was in June of 2017 at Bishop Airport in Flint. Fatui came here from Montreal, Canada. He had planned this jihad. He's Muslim. He said that he was discriminated against in Canada. He was depressed. He left his family. He came to the U.S. because it was evil, and he went to several gun stores to try to buy guns before he went to the airport, including a machine gun. He was unable to. He had a machete in his car that he did not use, but he walked up on Lieutenant Jeff Neville, an officer at the airport from behind, and slashed his neck. Neville tells us he got the right sentence. I would have been disappointed, frankly, if he didn't get life um, because he's, he's a really dangerous man. And I think if he got out of prison at 70 years old, he'd still be a dangerous man. Um, if they let him go in Canada, he'd still be a dangerous man. I mean, it's, he's not somebody that needs to be out ever again. Now, Fatui was wrestled down with, get this, a maintenance man at the airport and some others. You're going to hear from them later on today. The judge, um, Matthew Lightman, said he wrestled with this decision until he heard Fatui talk, that Fatui said he had jihad in his heart and in his blood. The judge said that tied his hands and imposed the sentence of life in prison. As I said, we'll have more from here in Flint later on today. Live in Flint, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. My goodness, Jim, those words as cold as can be. Just definitely good to see Lieutenant Neville out there today healed and doing well. Thank you so much for that live report. We'll check in with you later on today.